Giselle Freund was a German-born French photographer and photojournalist. Throughout her career, she went on photographic assignments for magazines such as Time and Life. Although she made her living through photojournalism, in many circles she is best known for her portrait photography. Born to wealthy Jewish parents in Berlin in 1908, Freund lived during a contentious time. One of her earliest forays into photojournalism was a demonstration in Frankfurt, Germany, in 1932. She took images of protesters and counter-protesters marching for many organizations, including the Social Democratic Party, the Communist Party, and many different workers' unions. This was a time of great strife, as many in Germany were unemployed due to the effects of the economic collapse in 1929. Die Rote Anna is an image from this 1932 May 1st demonstration, picturing children marching. The image was taken using a Leica camera that had been gifted to Giselle and was printed on fiber-based silver gelatin in this image. The large signs and paper pens being held by the children emphasize their small size, while the serious faces on all indicate the tension of the moment. This image stood out to me because of the severity on each child's face, which communicates the importance of the issues being marched for at this event. In 1936, Freund worked for Life magazine photographing the effects of the Depression in England. This picture, titled Unemployed Worker's Young Child, was taken in England in 1935. The positioning of the child by a large door, as well as the positioning of the camera slightly above the subject, gives the viewer a sense of scale and emphasizes how small the child is. The dark background focuses attention on the pale body, while the disheveled hair and clothes give a sense of dirtiness to the image that evokes pity for the innocent child. The use of the rule of thirds draws focus to the child's eyes where they look into the camera and seemingly connect with the viewer. This photograph is ethically evaluative as it communicates the plight of children affected by the depression and the conditions in which they live. This image of Frida Kahlo, a famous female painter known for her self-portraits such as the two Fridas and self-portrait with cropped hair, was taken in Mexico in 1951. The dark background with some green tones serves to contrast with the bright white and red of Kahlo's outfit. The positioning of her body explains to the viewer the task she is undertaking, feeding the ducks in the fountain. The line of the fountain rim, as well as the positioning of the hungry dogs, serve to further emphasize Frida Kahlo's figure, as well as her positioning at the intersection of the upper right thirds of the photograph. I found this photo intriguing because it shows an intimate view of a famous artist's life. The casual appearance of the photograph allows the viewer to feel as if they know the subject, making Kahlo more real to those who know her for only for her famous paintings. This image, as well as others, can be found in the book Frida Kahlo, the Giselle Freund photographs. This image of James Joyce was used as the cover of Time magazine in 1939. James Joyce is a well-known Irish writer, perhaps best known for his work Ulysses. This image again serves to humanize a well-known famous figure, depicting the writer perusing a letter or booklet. The seeming candidness of the photo contributes to the viewer's feelings of an interloper, getting a private look into the life of Joyce. The analogous colors of the red, brown, and yellow add warmth to the scene, with Joyce's slouched position contributing to the casual and homey tones. This photo seems to explain to the viewer what a day in the life of James Joyce is like, as well as leave the viewer up to interpret what the famous author may be reading or thinking. I chose Freund for this project because of her mastery of using still images to tell a story about the event or people she captures. She manages to convey information through use of background, colors, and posture, a skill possessed by true masters of photography.